my name is Avikan Roy. So in this video lecture, we will discuss about DC series motor characteristics. In my previous video lecture, I have discussed the DC shunt motor characteristics. So for DC series motor, we can say the back EMF is directly proportional to phi into n that means flux per pole into the speed. Alright, in case of DC shunt motor, the flux is used to be constant. But here, flux is not constant. So, if you do some further modification, then you will get this kind of relationship. That means, the speed is directly proportional to this term. Why? Because, as we know, in case of DC series motor, flux is directly proportional to the armature current. So, you can express in this way. Alright. So, from this expression or from this relationship between speed and armature current, you will get this kind of graph or this kind of plot for N, that means speed and the armature current. And VA is constant here. So, the nature is like this. So, for DC series motor, we also know that, that the electromagnetic torque is directly proportional to flux into armature current. Okay, and as we know, the flux is directly proportional to the armature current. So, we can do some modification and we can say that the torque is directly proportional to the square of the armature current. Alright, that means if we plot the graph between electromagnetic torque and the armature current, we will get the relationship like this. See, this is the relationship between torque and armature current because torque is directly proportional to the armature current square but yes after some point if flux saturation happens then this relationship doesn't exist because at the flux saturation the flux becomes constant so we cannot say that electromagnetic torque is directly proportional to the square of the ia rather the torque will be directly proportional to the IA itself. So, after that point, it will be a pure straight line. Alright. So, this is the relationship between electromagnetic torque and armature current. So, if you do some modifications in this equation, I mean this relationship, if you replace the armature current with the torque, you will get this kind of expression. And this gives you the relationship between speed and the electromagnetic torque. And if you closely observe, then you will get to see the speed and the electromagnetic torque have the same relationship as this. Okay, you will get same nature of the uh, relationship as in case of speed and the armature current. Alright, you will get same kind of nature for speed and torque as well. Alright. So, last point is DC series motor should not be run under no load condition. Yes, why? Because as you can see from this relation, this kind of relation is also uh, uh, existent in case of speed versus torque relationship just I have said. So, for low value of torque, okay, what will happen? See, for small value of torque or in case of no load condition, the speed will be dangerously high, right? And as the torque keeps on increasing or the armature current keeps on increasing, the speed will reduce. But at the initial stage, when the load current is very less or the torque is very, uh, sorry, load is very less, and that means light loaded case or no load case, the speed will be dangerously high. So it is not at all acceptable to run the motor under no load condition or at light load condition. So always remember DC series motor is always run with a certain amount of load. That is why it is always attached with uh, a mechanical load like a belt mechanism. Okay, so it, it is never kept unloaded. So always remember this fact. So that's all about the DC series motor characteristics. I hope you have understood uh, all the things. And if you have liked this video, then please share, comment and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye.